Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use emojis in your leaderboards. So right now I have a sad face because I haven't completed the obby. But once I complete my little mini obby here, then it's going to change to a cool face. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the leaderboard with an emoji and then one example of how you can change it throughout the game. To set up the leaderboard, we're going to write a script for the server script service. On this script, we're going to say game.players.playerAdded, colon connect, and then function. Inside the parentheses next to function, we're going to put plr, so that's the player that joined the game. Inside this function, we're going to say local leader stats is going to be equal to instance.new, Inside here, we're creating a folder. After that, we're going to say leader stats dot name, and that's going to be equal to leader stats inside of quotation marks. Then we're going to say leader stats dot parent, and we're going to store this with the player. Next, we're going to create a string value, which is where we're going to store the emoji. So we'll say local. For the name of this, I'm just going to call it stat, and this is going to be equal to instance dot new. Here, we're creating a string value. Next, we'll say stat.name. You can name this whatever you want to. I'm just going to call it status. Then we're going to say stat.value is going to be equal to quotation marks. And then this here is where we're going to store the emoji. If you want to, you can use a website like this right here to get your emoji. This has a bunch of different ones that you can just copy and paste. So if I want to start with a sad face, maybe this one right here, I'm just going to highlight it, press Control C go back to my script, and then paste it. The final thing we have to do for the script is say stat.parent, and we're going to store this in our leader stats. There we go, so really simple setup. We're just creating a leader stats folder, and then a string value for our emoji. So if we play the game, we can see how it works. So there we go, we have our leaderboard with our emoji. You can put whatever emoji you want to here, so if you don't like that one, you can always grab another one. So maybe instead of the sad face, I'll be a clown. There we go, so if I haven't completed the obby yet, I'm a clown, and then once I complete it, then we'll change it to another face. For this example, I'm changing the emoji whenever I touch this part right here. So if you want to do the same thing, you're just going to add a script onto that part. For this script, we're just going to use a simple touch event. So to do that, I'm going to say script dot parent. So that's going to be a reference for the part. I'm going to say dot touched colon connect. Inside the parentheses, I'm going to put function, and then another set of parentheses. Inside here, I'm going to put hit. So that's going to be the other object that touches that green part. Here I want to make sure that a player touched that part. So I'll say local player. And that's going to be equal to game dot players colon find first child. And then here I'm going to say hit dot parent dot name. To make sure we found a player, we're going to say if player then and inside here is where I'm going to change that emoji. So I'm going to say player. I'm going to reference their leader stats. And then I'm going to change the status. And I'm going to set this equal to a new emoji. So let's go ahead and pick one out from that website. And let's go ahead and choose this one right here. So just copy it and paste it inside the script. And before we run this, I notice I made a small mistake. So after status, we need to change the value. So we're going to say dot and value. All right, and that should do it. So let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works. Okay, as you can see, I start off with the clown emoji and then I'll complete my obby. And once I get to the finish, I get the party emoji. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. This was just a quick example of how you can use emojis in your leaderboards. If there's anything else you wanna see with this, just let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.